everybody. Welcome. Thanks for being here. So how do I stop my mind from racing? How do I stop my energy from always being out there or all of a sudden I'm fine and then something comes into my head or or I see something or I'm remembering something or there's something I have to do and all of a sudden all my energy is is up here or out in front of me and I can't seem to relax and go to those places of a peaceful mind that I am working so hard to attain. Do you ever feel that way? I get asked that a lot, a lot by students, a lot by private clients. And just this week, something came up where someone said to me, I would like a 20 minute practice that completely balances my soul, mind and body in 20 minutes <laughs> and I laugh but I am asked this a lot a lot throughout the years and it is a very interesting focus that we have here you know I'm in the United States and and so I'm speaking from that point of view but that everything should be fast and simple and quick and instantaneous result. And that's just not how energy regulation works. And I wanna share a little bit about that today in case this is something that you're struggling with and maybe it can it help you. I wanna give you some tools today to, that you can actually use every single day to get that mental peace that you'd like to have. I'm Maria Ferlano, welcome to The Art of Tuning In. So what about this practice that I can do for 20 minutes to calm and and expand my soul, mind, and body, and nourish myself, and really move into my spiritual center. So those are the kinds of things that people think about, and I'm sure you thought about that. We, we come from a culture where we learn, you know, the five minute ab routine, or do this 10 minutes a day, and it will reset your whole body, or, or do this one thing, and it'll change your life, or you'll make a, a million dollars in a couple of weeks, right? This is, this is the culture that we have been in now for quite a while. And what I want to share about energy regulation, emotional balance, mental peace, is that it's something that's done all throughout your day, all throughout your evening. And the other day I was outside and I was feeling a lot of stress. There was a lot of decisions that I had to make and I, I was you know, needing to get a lot of things done and I could feel in my body, and this is what I want you to start to pay attention to, is you start to feel in your body when the energy is starting to move in a way that is uncomfortable or it starts to kind of take you out of yourself. So when I say take you out of yourself, it means that I'm here, but I'm not really present. I'm not, I'm not really here. I'm kind of over here and my mind is way over here and I'm thinking, thinking, thinking and I can't quite get settled and I can't get grounded, right? Which is why getting grounded is so important. And I'm, I'm kind of, you're kind of running in a circle. And so you're trying to make a decision when your energy is doing this, okay? And I wanna give you this visual of your energy running in a circle or running outside of yourself and not stopping and being present. Because when we stop and we become present, everything out here comes into a focus and it comes into an alignment. And from that alignment, that's where you tune into your soul. That's where you tune into your higher self. That's where you tune into this greater wisdom. And time slows down. Everything around you slows down so that you are actually present in making your decision. When I was outside and I was feeling this and I was still, you know, and still, even though I've been doing this for years and years and years, you know, I started martial arts when I was 12 years old. So I've been in energy understanding and balance since I was a child. So it's part of my life, right? And then I've just added on to that. But even though I've been there for that long, I have to remind myself of this every day. So I was outside and things where I was trying to make these decisions. And I said, whoa, stop, just stop. And I went into the sunshine, kind of like I am now, and I just stood there. And 
I took a deep breath and I, what I do is I feel my feet sink into the earth and then I feel the earth kind of like wrap around my feet and hold me like a hug. It's very important. The earth is a very important point for us to tap into because the earth holds us and anchors us. It nourishes us as well. But if we can't get held and, and embrace the earth, the earth can't really embrace us. And so that's why practicing grounding is so important and why it's you know, always talked about. So I do that with my feet now. I'll just allow myself to sink in, you know, make this super simple for yourself. And then allow the earth, and you know, you'll want to visualize this, that the earth is wrapping around your feet and it's giving you a hug, it's holding you, it's supporting you. And I start to breathe, right? And I'll bring myself, and in other videos you've seen me, I bring myself into my center, or the center core that runs through my body. And from there, I go within and I just start to breathe. And this is called, you know, just regulating your energy. I'm, I'm taking my energy that's all out here and I'm bringing it into myself. And my friend of mine who saw me said she was watching me outside, which of course I didn't know, but she was watching me and she said, you look so peaceful. And it, it's really so beautiful to see that you can just, you know, downshift. And, and she was saying, I don't have that. I, I don't know how to downshift, but I saw it in you. And in, in other practices, we call this downregulating. We're, we're, we're just taking everything that's kind of out of control energetically or that feels like it's just not regulating, and we downregulate. But I loved her term, we're downshifting. We're just downshifting. And then I take some breaths. I breathe, I tune in personally, I tune into my guides and I ask for their help in just aligning my energy. I, may, I might say, uh, you know, help me with the decisions that I need to make today, keep me present, remind me to stay present, remind me to slow down. There's no rush, everything's okay, there's no emergencies, you know. And I talk myself through that with this guidance. And my point is, is that I do this sometimes, several times a day, if I'm dealing with a lot of stress or there's a lot of decisions or maybe I'm tired and I'm still needing to do things and I'm not quite there, but I bring myself back. And then some days you're flowing through your life and the day is terrific and everything flows and you don't need to do anything. You're just kind of flowing, you're there, your energy's good, everything's good, you're happy, all of, the thing, all of these things. But many days, it's a constant rebalancing. And so when people say, well, just give me a routine to do, well, a routine is good for our energy, but energetic medicine, energetic harmony, energetic regulation, energetic alignment is an all day, all night process. We are always realigning ourselves. So all of the tools that we learn, like for example, grounding into the earth and breathing and bringing our energy into center and, and doing yoga practices, if you practice yoga and doing Qigong like I do, doing all of those beautiful practices that help move the energy through your meridians in your body, which are like freeways of energy that run through your body and that help you build resilience. Like This is the other thing. People talk about wanting to calm their mind and wanting to create peace in their life. But what we need to do is to build energetic resilience, which means that we become stronger energetically so that we are able to bring ourselves into neutral, to focus and to deal with what's going on in our life. Not just to try to move to peaceful place, but we have to actually deal with life. We have to actually make decisions. We have to move through our life. There are things that come up in our life that are challenging. It's life is not just, you know, this easy river. Sometimes there's rapids and we have to, you know, go through the rapids. And it's how we go through those rapids that is our state of enlightenment. If we go through those rapids 
in a state where we can bring ourselves into balance and we can move from that state and still react and respond from that state navigating, then that is huge energetic enlightenment. If we have to cower or if we have to just, ah, you know, go out there. And because that's what it feels like sometimes when people are just reacting and responding, they're not connected to themselves. It's just ah, out there because they're trying to find that place of power. And so when people react and respond in ways that are forceful or mean, know that they're trying to find their own sense of power. Generally, they don't feel a sense of power. They feel a sense that they have to defend and protect themselves. So if we are able to go into that state and understand and give ourselves permission to go into an aligned state several times a day, to take 30 seconds, to take five minutes, <laughs> to take 20 minutes and bring ourselves back and then move into what we need to do. The more we do this, the more natural it becomes. In the beginning, a lot of people will say, I don't have time to stop at all these parts of my day. But there's a lot of people like myself that will say you don't really have time not to stop at all these parts of the day. Because the more you stop, the more you tune in, the more you align yourself, the better decisions you make in your life. And then your life flows more freely. When you don't tune in and stop yourself, when you don't take the time, no matter what else anybody else says or no matter what else is going on, when you don't take the time to tune into your own energy and your own guidance system, whatever that is personally for you, to be nurtured and held by the earth and to hold your power, to know your power, your true self, you don't take time to do that. We make decisions that usually don't support us and we lose a lot of energy. When our energy is all the way out here, and we're trying to figure something out or trying to rush through something or you know, just, just kind of chaotic, we're losing energy. And it's something I'd like you to picture is that it's, it's like energy is just being thrown off of you. It's not being aligned and centered and nurtured and held and, and given to you. It's you're, you're releasing it, you're leaking it, as we say in the energetic world, you know, you're leaking energy. And Nobody wants to leak energy, right? We want to empower ourselves. We want to build our energy. So, so I'm asked a lot, you know, about those 20 minute practices and those things that you can do. And yes, those, you know, like for example, 20 minute Qigong sets or just meditate, you know, meditation times. Those are all, if, if done in certain ways, those are ways to build and cultivate your energy. And you need that because you need that strength in yourself. But then all throughout the day, if you're having a hard time at night, throughout the evening, you want to constantly come back and take a moment and realign. Again, no matter what else is going on, no matter what else anybody says, you bring yourself back to center. I hope that helps you today. And I would love to know if you do this, how it feels to you and what you experience in your life. How do your decisions change in your life? Or do you make more grounded decisions? Do you find that there are more options that open to you? Because this is another thing is that when you learn to do this, all of a sudden, all of the options or opportunities solutions that you didn't see before because you're in this path of of emergency right you're in that fight or flight state is what it is in your nervous system because you're trying to react and respond to everything that's coming to you when you're in that space there's very little options and opportunities that become available because we can't see them they could be out here there could be somebody standing right next to you with the perfect idea solution opportunity answer that you need but you're here and you're trying to react and respond you're trying to protect yourself you're trying to just stay stable you're leaking energy so you're getting exhausted and you don't see it or you don't hear it sometimes people will be there and they'll tell you things but you're so stubborn in your own <laughs> focus because again you're just trying to protect yourself you're just trying to get through that you don't hear it, you don't take it in. 
But when you're able to come back to center, when you're able to pause and ground to the earth, these opportunities or answers you hear differently, you see differently. It feels like they just appear like, wow, I just manifested that. But they're there for you. We just have to clear, clear the clouds, you know, get centered so we can have this broader vision and they appear. When you want to work with higher levels of energy, when you want to elevate your own energy, you need to constantly realign yourself into higher levels of energy. And then those higher levels of energy work with you. That's the alignment, that's the manifestation process. So if you're feeling like several times a day you move out of your center or you're acting and responding to things, that is okay. It's totally, totally fine. You are totally normal. <laughs> Life is constantly changing and moving. There's new things happening all the time. And we are not supposed to have a one and done 20 minute set that we do in the morning that sets our whole day and makes everything perfect. We are supposed to move through life and react and respond from an aligned, grounded place. So I hope you're able to downshift and I hope you have fun with it. I thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you very soon and I will be putting on a video that is a full tapping set throughout the body. I hope you enjoy it. It will help invigorate your energy, especially in the morning time, but it will also help you calm in the evening. I'll look for that in the next couple days and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye for now.